Well, I grew up in Oak Point, uh, and when you grow up in Oak Point, the next big college around you is USD. And I remember coming over here um, as a young kid to the dome and touring the dome when it was first built. And um, then when I was in high school, a lot of my friends came to school here and I'd come over and visit them and just just loved it. Just fell in love with the whole atmosphere of college and USD. And uh, my grandma was a house mother here at a sorority. So kind of my whole life I've been involved with USD. Um, there's a couple things. One thing that really makes it neat is the way the people in Vermilion really embrace the university um, and the university employees and the coaches, where I feel like when sometimes when you move to a new town, um, you're an outsider. And when you move to Vermilion, people really welcome you um, and they appreciate that. And then I also love the connections that um, I'm able to make uh, and that I see other people make. And then when you come to USD, you become really, I know it sounds corny, but you become part of this family. And um, I've used that so many times to help my athletes be able to get a job or to be able to get an internship or be able to get a, a shadow someone so they could go to grad school. And just that willingness for one coyote to help another coyote is really um, an amazing thing that makes USD a really special place. Even if we didn't know each other when we were in school together, we still have that bond uh, when we meet 20 years later and talk about the good old days or that night of carries and those types of things. Um, you know, COVID was hard. Um, I, I don't know if the word adjust is the right word. I would say it was a death penalty and it was done. Uh, and I know that sounds bad when people are dying, but literally for our sport, um, because we were at the national meet preparing and we had such high hopes for that national meet and then for it to stop that day, it literally just stopped everything. And for really about the last five months, um, track at USD has just been really a hard thing to be able to do um, and like it is for everybody else um, but our kids have kind of gone on to other things and we made it really important for our kids to change their focus and not feel bad about that but to change their focus on their classes and now to start controlling what they can control and so we're really talking to our kids about this idea of you know wash your hands stay out of those big party areas um, and wear your masks so that we can have another season next year you know I think the big thing is flexibility you know, every, every, every time you listen to somebody, somebody has a plan. I don't have a plan. <laughs> I'm just going to go with it, with the idea. Um, you know, we, we talked about it as a coaching staff, and we're kind of using the idea that if we try to do the right thing every day, then when this whole thing is done, um, we're not going to look back and say we did it wrong. And um, I think that's the philosophy that Dave Herbster has, too, is, you know, protect your, protect your people, keep people engaged, because that's, it's hard to be lonely. And when you're an athlete, it's hard to be excluded from what you love. So we're trying to engage those people, but at the same time, we're not trying to make it stressful for them. Um, or we're not overemphasizing it because who knows if we're gonna have a, a cross country season or a track season. So just keep going on with your life, do those other things that maybe you neglected a little bit. And um, we'll, when track season starts, we'll be ready to go. You know, joking, it's, you know, we've been married for uh, 28 years this week. Um, and this is the longest time that we've ever spent together um, without me traveling off to a track meet uh, or practice every day um, or even getting out of the house for a while. So it's been really good for that. Um, my daughters have been able to come back a couple times. Um, I actually had my daughter's wedding, a COVID wedding. So I'd say the thing that I've learned is that there's other things more important maybe than track. Um, and that what we're able to do is spend some time with family and sneak out and see a few of our good friends, um, spend some more time with my mother and my brother and my sister that I haven't been able to do. So to me, that's been the advantage this COVID is I feel like I've become better, better as that other part of me is that as a father, a son, uh, and as a brother. Um, and I think that's probably way overdue. You know, I, I know there's no such thing as a perfect school. But in a lot of ways, if you come to USD with the right mentality, it can be that perfect school. You can have those opportunities to go from here and literally go anywhere, uh, whether that's wherever you want to go to grad school, whether that's to work in London when you're done. Uh, but then while you're here, we have these amazing faculty that if you will get engaged with, can really make a difference. And obviously I saw that when I was a student, I had some faculty that I'm still very close to and I stop and see all the time. Um, but it was even more so when my daughter went through here. 
Um, she had some faculty that really challenged her and um, helped her have opportunities where she traveled abroad, where she went to California for a semester, where she went to Washington DC and had an internship. And all those things came because the faculty at USD really engaged in trying to help her. And what I love about USD is our faculty will do that if you come here with the idea that you want to be great and you want to have those different experiences. And that's why I love USD.